channel. Aski, where are you? Say hi, Thomas. Hola. Today we're going to show you guys what it takes to take your dog on a flight from the Cancun International Airport. So we are driving from Playa. We rented a car for $30 for the day and we're going to go get Aski's papers certified so you can fly with us to Guatemala tomorrow. And we thought we would take you with you because there's probably lots of people who want to know how to fly with their dog. Let's go. try to check him in at the airport while we're there but in my dog bag in my trusty dog bag I have these collapsible water bowls I have two one for water and one for food I have his uh, what do you call it the taco saco taco saco which is all of his poo bags here nice Oops. little fanny I have two of his muzzles. It's not required at the airport, but I do like to use it when I get on the flight because sometimes he'll sniff around a little bit on the floor and if people drop foods, he's very food motivated and sometimes he'll pick up a crumb or two. And some people are scared of dogs, so it's just a common courtesy thing to do. And then as soon as I get on the plane, I take it off. I love this one because it's breathable. It's not very like, doesn't bother him at all and it just clasps in the back. What else do we have? Oh, we have his bandana because he has to be fashionable. And then some basic dog treats. And I have a dog blanket, which I didn't bring with me, but I will bring tomorrow that I got. And it's great because when he's on the floor and the AC is blasting, he's usually pretty cold. Right, Oski? So yeah, we're gonna head into the airport and we will keep you posted and try to film as much as we're able to in the airport without getting in trouble. you guys the super cool service dog vest that I got on Amazon it's actually linked in our storefront and it comes well actually it doesn't come with any of the sticker um, whatever you call these patches but I did also buy this service dog tag on Amazon too it's really cool because it has a QR code so if anything happens to you 
and your service dog is there, they can scan the QR code and they can find all your information and all your health history and blah, blah, blah. So that way you can be as safe and as, uh, I don't know, not safe, whatever it's called. But it's super cute. I got one in Army Prince since Thomas and I are both Army vets. Always take the dog out before to get a little potty in before the flight. Oops. Like a good sir. Now we're headed into Terminal 2 to go to Valaris first to check out to make sure he's booked for the flight since we couldn't do it online. And then we will be going to the house certificate office. All right guys, so we checked him in for the flight tomorrow and all we needed was his vaccine, his rabies, whatever, his passport. Now we're about to get the health certificate stamped and he is booked for the flight. So we're super excited, but first we're stopping at Starbucks because we didn't eat anything today, right Oski? Oski, are you excited for Guatemala tomorrow? Yes. all the stuff reserving Oski for the service dog for our flight but now we have to go to the health office which is only in terminal three agriculture, oh, agriculture whatever Oops. but it's where you get your health certificate certified so we just drove to terminal three and now we're gonna head in and uh, hopefully there's not a line because I am tired
Too easy, dude. Give me that crown. Boom! And now we're all 